What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Combat Corporation, your source for combat sports. I'm your host, Al the Postmaster tomorrow. Today, I have a revisited video. I've made this video before and how to clean your equipment. But I still get comments all the time, and it was when the uh, the channel was in its infancy. I still get messages all the time. Al, my gloves stink. Al, I, I need to clean my gloves. How do you do it? How do you make your gloves last so long? And, and so on and so forth, right? So I'm basically going to show you uh, four different pieces of equipment and how to clean them. I'm going to show you a couple different things a little bit more in detail uh, than the last one was. So I'm going to have timestamps so you can click and go through and see which one to clean. The four pieces of equipment I have today is a pair of leather shin guards, a uh, leather pair of MMA gloves, a leather pair of boxing gloves, as you can see here, and I also have a vinyl pair of boxing gloves. And I'm going to show you how I clean all of these things and uh, my process behind it. I'm also gonna show you a couple different things that I have as far as products that I use to clean, the basic ways to clean it, and then of course, uh, the ways of, um, of more of advanced cleaning, right, is what, I'll, is what I'll say. Because you can just do a bare minimum clean and keep your gloves lasting for a long time. But if you wanna go in depth like I do, if you're a collector, you really want your stuff to look good and vibrant, uh, then that's what you want to do. So these four uh, pairs of equipment I purposely used heavily over the last week and a half just really to kind of get them in uh, and work them hard. The shin guards I use most because it's the only pair of shin guards I really have. I had a pair of combat corners, didn't like them as much. So I just went back to these, my dangers. I love these things. Um, but I use all four of these just so I could really show you how to clean that stuff that really needs a deep clean. And, and uh, even one of these things I haven't treated yet. Now, I'm also going to go in uh, to the difference between cleaning and treating. Uh, but first off, I want to go over a couple of housekeeping tips. And we'll just use these MMA gloves for an example, right? And, and housekeeping tip number one is uh, to to keep your gloves lasting longer when it comes to any type of uh, equipment. Uh, housekeeping tip number one is keep stuff out of your bag, right? Uh, don't just keep it in your bag overnight because that is the number one cause of destroying your gear. It drives me nuts when my teammates say, why do my gloves smell bad? And my first question is, have you left them in your bag overnight? closed and they said yes it's okay if you open your bag up let some air get into it i personally would just take your stuff out and set it on a shelf or set it somewhere to where air a good airflow can get into it because the idea is uh bacteria grows in dark damp places right that's where things like mushrooms and funguses grow and a bunch of other bacteria and think about this too we're doing sports where we're always warm sweaty and all those things where things like ringworm and batigo staph infection is like a, a death sentence for us we hate that stuff right so we should actively try and clean our stuff and what we do is when we come home is we dry is we shower and then we always dry ourselves out because if we stayed wet for so long we'd get cold things would grow on us after a while that's that's just not what we want so we want to keep this clean uh and by airing this out so it will eliminate all the sweat uh, what that does is uh, bacteria gets into the interior lining and what that starts to do is once that gets in, it soaks so deep into the lining that it gets into the padding, starts to bubble the padding, starts to break the padding apart. And then once it starts eating the padding away, it has to move on to the leather or the vinyl and start cracking that as well. And then effectively your glove is destroyed. Uh, and that's one thing. That's why I see guys that come in and their vinyl starts peeling off of their gloves and it's usually because they're not taking care of it they're just throwing in their bag it's always wet uh think about i call it the cardboard theory if cardboard's dry and it never gets wet it stays strong for a long time but if you get cardboard wet things will start peeling off of it and it'll start uh being worse but then once cardboard gets soaked you dry it out it's really fragile frail it feels crinkly right it's not going to be good uh you can't let it get bad then immediately start going it so if you got a new pair of equipment you really want to start taking care of it uh so i guess that's a housekeeping tip in general is keep it dry uh let it air out let air get to it uh and as far as scent goes you notice the scent won't be as bad but usually you still got to clean this to make sure the scent doesn't get in most of that bad smell is just not just your sweat it's the bacteria coming off from your sweat and the bacteria festering inside of your bag the other housekeeping tip i would say is every now and again spray your bag down and keep that nice and clean if your bag smells like like hell and yet your gloves are clean i mean it has to live in there think about this the bag is your equipment's home you got to keep your your house clean okay so keep your bag clean as well but uh going on to the products that i use it's just my housekeeping tip 
uh, the products that I use in general, uh, and some of it's new that I, I've been uh, getting to, uh, the basic things that I think you need though to start out with the products would be a disinfecting wipe and a disinfecting spray. This stuff alone can clean virtually everything you have, right? Usually I spray the cloth parts and I wipe down the non-cloth parts, but you can wipe the cloth parts down too. You don't want to wipe stuff down too much or spray stuff down when it's wet. Like I said, you want to make sure your stuff is dried and aired out before you start doing anything. Otherwise, it's going to combine this stuff with the sweat and it's just going to smell weird and you don't want that, okay? Uh, the other products that I use uh, besides a spray for the cloth materials is this stuff. I put it in a spray bottle, uh, but this is laundry sanitizer, the sport version by Lysol. Uh, my wife actually turned me on to this stuff uh, a while ago and I've been using it instead of the disinfecting spray, uh, you know, for a cleaner scent. And if it disinfects my own laundry, I would really trust it on my glove as well. But I'll use this really to kill any bacteria in it, I'll let it go. And then to keep this nice and vitalized, soft and supple as well, because this softens it a little bit, you can spray this stuff on the inside as well as what I like to use. Uh, so I'll use the laundry disinfectant, or uh, the sanitizer by Lysol, the sport version, and it smells really fresh too. Now for leather products, what I use is leather honey, uh, which actually you can buy on Box Up Nation. I always give those guys a shout out because they're very cool people. Uh, but leather honey, I actually made a video uh, specifically for about three years ago now. And uh, the reason why is because I used to use Armor All or Meguiar's and all those things. And my, and my friend that's a detailer for cars says don't use Armor All. It might smell good and it might make your stuff soft for about a day or two, but it's just a coating. It doesn't sink into the material like that. You want to use something that really gets in there like a boot conditioner, something that you would use for couches, boots, your, your everyday stuff, just like you would. And, and I noticed that because the armor all made it smell good and it made it shiny because it's basically uh, the way he explained it. It's a coat of grease that makes it like that. Uh, whereas with leather honey, uh, the leather conditioner and the leather cleaner, the cleaner does the, just that. It gets all the dirt and it really cleans the leather itself while the conditioner completely makes it the, the leather become brand new again and it gets into the actual skin of the leather, softens it up. It's basically like putting lotion on your skin. Which brings me to the next topic and the difference between cleaning and treating your gear. Cleaning means you're just getting all the dirt, bacteria, and all the things that are going to ruin it off. While treating the glove usually means that you're trying to revitalize it and bring it back to a former state. It's kind of like a factory reset, if I guess you could say. So that's why treating your gloves is a little different in that you need your gloves to be clean to even treat it. Because if you try and treat it when your glove is dirty, the treatment's not going to work as well. Usually you can treat, uh, you know, primarily just leather equipment, but that's a cool thing that I love about leather, honey, is that you can use it on vinyl stuff. So I use this when the glove looks dull, the leather is just kind of rough and rugged, or I feel like it's going to fall apart sometime soon. What it does is it revitalizes the leather and it makes it work all good news again. Okay, so that's what I want. So that's the difference between cleaning and treating. All right, so let's go ahead and go into cleaning our gear. You know, I told you the bare minimum way to clean is just basically use these two. That's really all you need. But if you want to go all in and make stuff really nice, you can use your leather honey cleaner or your leather honey uh, conditioner, or you can use any other leather product. I think the other ones he recommended was Meguiar's uh is not terrible and he said the chemical guy stuff is not terrible but he really liked leather honey and turned it on to that but he said anything you wouldn't put on your shoes don't put on anything else and which was a really good point uh so let's go ahead and clean our pair of boxing gloves first that are vinyl okay because i notice a lot of people have vinyl equipment so let's go ahead and clear the table for a second let's clean our vinyl boxing gloves and i'm just going to show you exactly what i would do to clean our vinyl boxing gloves these are the fly super loop x okay and and these gloves are relatively easy to clean because of the vinyl material that you have it's a pretty a good vinyl the padding's still good and the gloves are really durable so you really don't have to clean these as much uh, you can actually see they're still kind of shiny but we're going to clean them anyway because i've been using them heavily over the last week specifically for this video so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start out by opening up the velcro okay so the Velcro is still very strong even after having these gloves for a while. I want to say I reviewed these almost a year ago now. Uh, but basically the Velcro is the part that can also fall apart very easily. Okay, so the bare minimum way that you can clean this stuff, guys, is I take the spray, disinfecting spray like this, okay? And what I do is I just spray the Velcro parts like this. 
and I get that in and I make sure the glove is dry. Remember to make sure the glove is dry. And then what I do is for the interior lining is I come here, all right, so you can see, and I spray the outer edges here. And I, then I put it in like this, just like that. I just spray it a little bit. Now that will kill the bacteria on the inside, at least it should. Uh, but maybe you don't like the scent of this, because even if you get like this, I think this is mango and hibiscus scent. Uh, I usually just like the regular scent. My wife picked this up for me, so I said thank you. Uh, but basically, I like just a non-scent, right, is the idea. And then what I use is just dryer sheets at the end. That's the other thing I, I forgot to show in my uh, products I use. I put dryer sheets at the end, which I'll show you in a second. Uh, but, you know, this alone will make this part of the glove uh, pretty good. Uh, and then what I do is I take a disinfecting wipe. Since it's vinyl, I don't really need to treat it. And it looks shiny, so it doesn't look like I need to treat the glove, right? If it looks dull, dark, and depressing, then yeah, you might want to start treating your glove with the leather honey. And the cool thing is the leather honey works for synthetic leather materials. But I take the disinfecting wipe and all I do is I start wiping it down. All right. And then what I do as well is I always have a drying cloth after. I have two different cloths specifically for leather and then I have a drying cloth so I can wipe all this stuff off so it's not too wet. Uh, because you can kind of see the soap and stuff and you don't want the soap to like stay there or like the suds and stuff. Now, when I clean the glove, I want to make sure I get underneath everything. I want to get underneath the finger compartment. I want to get in between the thumb attachment, all right? Make sure that's clean because if that falls off, then, you know, the whole glove is toast. But every part of this, that's that vinyl material, I just wipe down, okay? And I open it back up and super strong. There we go. All right. Very good. And I get the piping, too. Every time I do this. This is what I do, and I wipe the whole glove down, okay? So we'll just put that off to the side, and what I do is I take my drying cloth, and I just wipe that down. Okay, and I wipe all these spots down. Now what I want to do is I just want to let the interior lining in the cloth dry out. But just look how much, even, even from before, how much shinier this looks just from cleaning it, right? Even a little bit more, it looks like it's a little bit cleaner. And on top of it, it's still, well, I mean, it's not leather, but it still has that nice scent to it, okay? Which is good. So what I do now for the glove is I would take a dryer sheet and I'd stuff it inside. And now what I do is I just let the glove air out somewhere, okay? And I put it off to the side. I'll clean the other gloves, uh, the, uh, the other pair, uh, the other glove of the pair, off camera just so we can kind of move the video along uh, and same thing for the shin guards too but now let's go to say my leather pair of MMA gloves by Revgear which I have purposely not treated yet you can kind of see that the leather definitely looks okay it doesn't look dull the light brings it out for sure but you know there's some spots that aren't that great so we're gonna go ahead and clean these okay so let me go ahead and we'll clean the left one today so I do the same thing, only now what I want to do, because I want a bit of a different scent, is I want my sanitizer, okay? Because I actually cleaned these earlier today with my disinfecting spray. So it's disinfected, so let's sanitize it a little bit, and we'll just spray this. There we go. Maybe that'll work, maybe it won't. <laughs> Come on. Right when you need it to happen, right? If I have to, I'll just go back and use the disinfecting spray. Oh, it's probably because I got it at a weird angle. Yep. But there we go. It's coming out a little bit. Very good. And it smells really good. I love how that smells. I'll still spray the Velcro down as well. All the little Velcro parts. And then if I absolutely have to, I'll just I'll rub it in a little bit. It's not bad for your skin, really. At the end of the day, it's going to be on your clothes anyway. So I'll go ahead and rub that in with my hands. Get that in right there, good. All right, so now the next thing I do is I just take my disinfecting wipe, right? Right, is usually what I would do to clean the leather. I take the disinfecting wipe and I just wipe it down over the top. But like I said, I had cleaned this already, disinfected it already, okay? So what I wanna do now is actually do the leather cleaner and the leather conditioner, okay? So we're gonna clean the leather. I'll take my leather cleaning cloth Okay, and I'm gonna just spray into the cloth itself. 
Get that spritz all over the place. Now watch this. One little wipe. Look at that. And it comes, it's partially because it's wet because it, it looks so good. But I just wipe that in just a little bit. There was those couple stains on it that even the disinfecting wipe couldn't get rid of. Now I'll come here, wipe that all down. Just one nice pass. Boom. All right, now look at that. Look how much cleaner that looks already. Not just because it's wet. In fact, just to show you, we'll dry it off with a drying towel. And look how shiny that still is. Looks like a completely different glove. Let's look to the other one just for a comparison. It's a little bit duller. It's a little bit darker in color. And we'll even swap positions so you can see it's not the camera, okay? But you see how much cleaner that looks. Now we're gonna make it even more of a difference here, okay? Let me dry that off my table. Let's see here, we have this cloth. Uh, I wanna use a separate clean cloth for the conditioner. So I got another leather cloth here. And what I do, is you can either apply it right to the glove or you can apply it to the cloth. In this case, I wanna just do a little dab right off the middle like that. So you see how you got a little dab up the middle. Now all I do is I take the cloth and I start working it in. Oh yeah. So the glove looks even better and it's so much softer already. The leather feels so good. And now it's nice and in the cloth too. So I can just work it into the cloth into the glove like this. And I'll get the fingers, and I'll get down here as well on the thumb. Maybe a little bit more on the thumb because you see how the thumb's a little, and we'll put a little bit there. Just a little tiny piece, not a lot. You don't need a lot. Oh wow, look how clean that looks now compared to what it was. Very good on the wrist and bam. We have treated the glove and it looks brand new. So that's what we use leather honey for, folks. Okay, so we got that. And now our leather MMA glove is super clean and look how that shines. This is what I do before most of my videos just so it looks extra shiny for you guys. I don't know if you've ever noticed that, but now since these are all good, the interior lining smells phenomenal. Uh, unfortunately, some color has just faded, but still you can see that the leather it's actually a little bit softer than it was before. And you can see with the padding how the leather contours over it a little bit easier, right? So that's amazing. Like that's what I love about conditioning the leather. So it's the same thing. Uh, we'll do this quickly with our shin guards, right? So I need to disinfect this. So what I do is I take the entire inside of the shin guard, okay? Cause this shin guard kind of smells, I'm not even gonna lie. So I gotta kill the bacteria on the inside of it, right? So I go here. Make sure with shin guards, guys, that you get the uh, elastic bands too. Once the elastic goes, it's useless. I've had these shin guards for six years. I love these shin guards. Of course, they're a little dirty and they've wiped off in color in a couple spots, but that's neither here nor there, okay? Very good. All right, and then I want to take a disinfectant wipe in here. And what I do is I come to the leather part and I wipe it down just to get it, you know, it might not um, get the stains off it too well, but it does what I need it to do. Also that little ankle bot spot right there, go ahead and do that. Now before I put the sanitizer guy on guys, I really want to make sure that this is a dry piece of equipment. So I want to let this disinfectant spray kill it first. By the way, I'm not a scientist, right? I, I don't claim to know things about bacterial things. You know, I'm not a genius in that department. Um, but this has been working for me and my equipment for as long as I've been collecting, and I started collecting at 15, and I'm 25 now, so 10 years, this has been my, my plan, and a lot of the gloves I've had from then, recently I had to retire after 10 years, uh, you know, so they worked perfect for me, right? I just know how to use the, uh, the gloves and how to take care of them. There you go. 
All right, so now we got that, okay? But I noticed that even this is just a little dull. You know, the leather is not bad, but the thing is shin guards, you know, I don't usually treat these as much as I probably should because shin guards, after they break in, as we all know, they break in and they kind of stay broken in for a while. So we're gonna go ahead and just let this dry out now. That's how I usually clean my, my shin guards. Because look, you can see permanent scuffs where the paint has been taken off just a little bit, but look how much cleaner it looks just off that. But like I said, I still wanna make sure that it's a little dry on top. So I just take this, wipe it down, and even now, it still looks a lot cleaner but i just gotta let this air out before i use my sanitizer uh, for the scent factor okay so that's what i use and you can also use your dryer sheets and you can you know i've done this where i've taken it and i've i've taken the straps and i've patented down the dryer sheets uh ever since i found the laundry sanitizer i have not had to do that so now for the grand finale, we're gonna go into one of my favorite pairs of gloves on the market, and that is our Hit and Move All Day, right? I love these. And you can see that I'm choosing a white glove on purpose because they carry dirt a little bit more than the others. Okay, but like I said, with uh, with the Rev Gears earlier, I also disinfected these already. Uh, so the interior lining is all disinfected, okay? Uh, but what I need to do is clean the leather. So we're gonna do that one more time. And it's very simple to do. This is the leather cleaner cloth, okay, right here. Yeah, and so that's nice and still has some on it, but I'm still gonna spray a little bit more. Very good, okay. Now, before and after, guys, ready for this? Okay, look at the shine already. Comes right off and I gotta work it into the leather, all right? You gotta get it into the grain of the leather. That's the whole idea is that if you get it into the grain of the leather, it creates lot look at the metallic blue now look at it nice and shiny guys it works on metallic paint as well as it does regular matte and I take this all throughout the leather and the thing is is that I love hit and move because they they really pride themselves in using a nice quality leather and nice quality leather for me is harder I mean easier to clean than cheaper leather and even that white spot at the bottom that was a little dull Boom. right now obviously some paint is chipped off a little black chip right there that's going to happen with wear but look at the bottom there used to be dirt right at the bottom let's let's get the other one so you can kind of see because it's on the same thing you can see the little mounds of black dirt at the bottom and then we come here and it's all gone boom gets right rid of it now what we do is we treat it oh but you know what these gloves don't need to be treated because I only treated them about two weeks ago. And just look, the leather cleaner did its job. So see, each job calls for different materials to use, different products to use. In this case, I just used leather cleaner and look how shiny it is. It's as shiny as the revitalized Rev Gear glove that I had. All right, both made of top grain leather. Okay, but look at the similar shine. One's red and black, one's white, and they have the same exact shine, okay? And that's awesome. Just because I treated the glove two weeks ago before I started using it again, right? Because I noticed it was a little dull, it needed a little life to it. So at the end of the day, guys, each and every piece of equipment that you have might need a different type of treatment. You saw that the uh, the flies were in perfect condition, right? And they just needed to be cleaned. That was it. So you just wipe it down and even the flies, you know, they still look, I mean, the one beforehand, because it's a good vinyl material, it's easy to clean. Even the one that I, had, I didn't clean yet, look, it's not that much of a difference. This one's a tiny touch shinier because I cleaned it, but this one is still pretty good because some materials and some gloves out there just don't need as much cleaning as others, right? So in this case, fly cleans very well and stays clean, dries out very quickly. Then we went to the Rev Gear glove, which I hadn't revitalized yet. And I mean, still look at the other glove, which we haven't conditioned yet, right? It's still decently shiny because of the light, but compared to this one, it reflects. You can see your reflection in it, you know? Uh, and then you can see all the dirt and stuff that's bound at the top compared to this one that is spotless, right? And that's amazing. So that's what's going on here with this glove. So it needed to be treated uh, compared to the shin guards that I have, right? The shin guards that I've cleaned. When we come here, this is the one I cleaned. And like I said, shin guards, I've had these for so long that I don't really treat the leather because the leather's good. I just needed to clean it because it smelled kind of bad. So 
It smells a lot better. Uh, I'm going to let it dry out, and then I'm going to use the sanitizer for my favorite scent. And then, of course, the last pair of gloves that I had that I uh, treated, which are here, all I did was just leather cleaner because I already disinfected the glove and then I cleaned the glove, okay? So that's all I did. And now look how shiny and new it looks. Even compared to the other one, I only treated it a couple weeks ago. It's still pretty shiny, but still you can see the reflection and stuff because I used a leather cleaner. And you can see it's not quite as shiny in this one, even switching it around so you know I'm not playing light tricks on you. But that's the idea, guys, okay? So that's how I clean my stuff. I think your stuff will last a long, 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 long time if you do this process. It's not hard at all, uh, and it takes only a few minutes, folks. Uh, I recommend, if I were to give you a timeline of how often to clean your stuff, I disinfect it every couple of days, and then I would treat it maybe every couple of weeks to a month of use, okay? Because the treating, especially if you use leather honey, uh, works incredibly well. But with that said, folks, I really appreciate you watching this video. I, it was a little bit more in-depth for you. I hope it helps. And if you have any questions at all, feel free to message me. Comment below. Subscribe as it goes a long way to help the channel. And like the video if you thought it was good. If you have your own methods, please comment them below. Let me know what you do. I'd love to know. But with that said, guys, thank you so much for choosing your source for combat sports, the Combat Corporation. I've been your host, Alec Postmaster Morrow, and I'll see you on the next episode. Have a good one, everybody.